One of the distinctions of a new generation of video games is improved graphics. As we move into the next generation, let's take a look at the best visual experiences of the last generation. Games will be ranked based on graphical quality, art direction, and aesthetics. This top 10 countdown are my picks for the best video game graphics. At the end of the countdown, let me know what you think. What games were too high? What games were too low? And what games were not included but should have been? Without further ado, let's begin the breakdown. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim receives honorable mention in the competition. The reason for its honorable mention instead of full inclusion is that it is only able to look as good as it does with a plethora of mods installed. But once these mods are installed, the textures, anti-aliasing, and overall graphical fidelity improves to the extent that Vanilla Skyrim and Modded Skyrim look like they are games in different generations. Detailed character models, towns, landscapes, and dungeons lift Skyrim from graphical mediocrity to being able to rival any game in impressive visuals. That the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. Starting the countdown is Tomb Raider a much needed reboot to the, no pun intended, archaic series. The game brings the story back to the adventure origins of Lara Croft. Along with modern gameplay improvements, Tomb Raider has impressive visuals. A large portion of the game's success depended on how well Lara's physical and inner struggle was portrayed, and the game delivers in this aspect. Animations are fluid and believable. Lara's movements were motion captured off Camilla Luddington, who is also the voice actor and body model. On PC, there is even a graphical option solely dedicated to hair physics. The tombs and exotic locations Lara visits in the game are a real pleasure to take in, ensuring a future for our strong female protagonist. Tomb Raider sails into 10th place on the countdown. Another Square Enix published game, Sleeping Dogs presents an intricately designed world for you to roam around. Wei Shen is an undercover cop tasked with infiltrating the triads. The setting, Modern Hong Kong is unique to the gaming world, and the sights and sounds of the bustling city are well portrayed through the gameplay. It is exhilarating just to stop from time to time to take it all in. A high resolution textures pack that comes with the PC version adds polish to everything in sight, and lighting, shadows, and effects are consistently high quality through and through. Hand to hand combat sequences flow like choreography. For those experiencing the I want GTA 5 now syndrome, Sleeping Dogs will more than fill that void. Just be sure to remember to drive on the left side of the road. With everything from thrilling motorcycle chases to action movie fistfights, Sleeping Dogs pummels its way into ninth place on the countdown. Hitman Absolution rounds out the first three games on our countdown with yet another Square Enix published game. The game itself was well received by critics, but lesser known among mainstream audiences. Agent 47 makes a triumphant return to the gaming scene. His assassination missions have been updated with modern gameplay mechanics. The Glacier 2 engine used is very underrated and is capable of rendering realistic, dense crowds. The environments are gorgeous to look at, and you are sure to take all of it in as you play the game stealthily. But subtlety sometimes falls through, and you are more than welcome to run and gun. Slow motion kill cams show high levels of visceral detail. Hitman Absolution sneaks into 8th place on the countdown. I feel like I can just copy and paste a large portion of what I wrote about Hitman Absolution into my synopsis of Max Payne 3. 
The game received high scores from critics, but not many played it although it was a spectacular modern release. Max Payne, the titular character, is once again in a cycle of getting drunk and pissing metal. The PC version is replete with modern graphical features such as tessellation and ambient occlusion. Gameplay is fast, but the trademark bullet time allows you to see detailing on each individual bullet. Advanced physics are well implemented as enemies react and fall dynamically to where they are shot on their body. Bullet wounds are viscerally rendered. Max Payne 3 dives into 7th place on the countdown. Although there are too many modern military shooters released every year to count, still none of them have been able to unseat Battlefield 3 as the go-to game of choice for graphical fidelity. Released in 2011, the game is still a benchmark that modern systems target. Realism-inspired gameplay, accompanying photorealistic visuals, creates a very immersive experience. The feeling of being in a war zone is enhanced when the destructible environments of the Frostbite 2 engine cause the world to literally crumble around you. Releasing in late 2013, Battlefield 4 and Arma 3 will compete for the best graphics in a modern military shooter, but for now, Battlefield 3 shoots its way into 6th place on the countdown. Far Cry 3 drops you into the lair of pirates, slavers, and dangerous animals as your vacation goes wrong in the worst possible way. The one stroke of luck you have is that the islands of Far Cry 3 are beautiful, expansive, and completely open to exploration. There's a lot to take in as you fly over the islands with a wingsuit or hang glider. The terrain and vegetation are developed and lush. Hunting rare animals takes you to a variety of locales. Wandering aimlessly through the forest or driving along the coast offers hours of radiant vistas in entertainment just by themselves. With gameplay just as rewarding as its graphics, Far Cry 3 skydives into 5th place. Developer CD Projekt Red shows that when you develop from the ground up with high-end PC systems in mind, you create graphical masterpieces such as The Witcher 2. You play as Geralt of Rivia, a fabled monster hunter known as The Witcher. The oldest game on the countdown, The Witcher 2 is over 2 years old at the time of this writing. The game is clearly designed for the ages, as the graphical requirements to play the game at the highest settings are still very intense today. There's no easy place to begin describing the amount of graphical fidelity in The Witcher 2. The textures, environmental detail, lighting, and world design are all deserving of praise. No graphical element is lacking and each feature is well implemented. The Witcher 2 is the best looking high fantasy game available, and The Witcher 3 will raise the bar again for visual quality. The storyline is just as compelling as the graphics. With its immersive landscape, The Witcher 2 hacks and slashes to fourth place on the countdown. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. Alright. This will undoubtedly surprise many for its inclusion in the countdown, much more so for its high position, but Bioshock Infinite very much deserves a position among the most visually impressive games of the generation. Booker the Wit seeks to wipe away his debt by saving Elizabeth from captivity, but there is a deep secret to her origins that makes the mission transcend explainable phenomena. It is clear that the game isn't striving for realism in its graphical design, but rather, it reaches new gaming benchmarks for art direction and aesthetic appeal. The game is much more than a good story told through a first-person shooter. It is artwork. Symbolism is abundant. The game's setting. The floating city of Columbia has imagery rife with architecture and persona representative of the early 20th century, 
but it also has intrinsic design that distinguishes it as existing in an alternate universe. There is a steampunk feel to the world, coupled with the comfortable vertigo of being among the clouds. Elizabeth's animations are mesmerizing to look at. Each aspect of world design contributes to the inherently artistic origins of Bioshock Infinite. Even those most critical and skeptical of video games will agree that Bioshock Infinite solidifies video games as a legitimate art form. With a meticulous amount of detail and intricacy placed into creating a memorable and unique world, Bioshock Infinite tears its way into third place on the countdown. Give me a hand here. We are down to the two best looking games of the generation. It was extremely difficult to decide which of these two games would take the top place on the countdown because they both present a strong case for the best quality graphics. It was hard to put this game second to anything, but the runner up for the best gaming graphics is Metro Last Light. The game takes place in a post-apocalyptic wasteland where humanity is reduced to live in metro tunnels. Your goal is to find any and all means to stay alive. It is shocking how believable the decimated environment looks. Powerfully vivid graphics are important to what the game seeks to accomplish in creating an immersive and tense atmosphere. Shadow and light are life and death, and the gameplay uses how impressive these effects are to making edgy stealth segments. The physics engine uses PhysX to create dynamic destruction, fabric, explosion, and spark effects. The game presents and puts together all the best modern graphical features to create one of the most visually immersive experiences. Metro Last Light shines its way into second place on the countdown. Keep low. You okay? It's nothing. The Crisis series has maintained a legacy in requiring powerful hardware to be able to play at any setting. The latest in the series, Crisis 3, continues its tradition of melting PCs. You play as Prophet, a soldier with superhuman abilities made possible by the series' definitive nanosuit. The powerful CryEngine 3 is on full display as Crisis 3 incorporates graphically intensive features such as displacement mapping, particle and volumetric fog shadows, improved dynamic cloth and vegetation, dynamic caustics, improved area lighting, and diffuse shadows. All of these graphical innovations, high quality textures, and other advanced features creates a science fiction visual experience that other games are a far cry away from reproducing. Each Crisis game takes graphics to levels previously unimaginable, especially as games approach real-life fidelity. As the best-looking video game of the generation, Crisis 3 powers its way to first place on the countdown. So there you have it. These are my picks for the best video game graphics of last generation. Remember to leave a comment on what games you think were too high, too low, or should have been included but weren't. I'm very excited to see what the next generation of gaming will bring in terms of realistic graphics. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name's David and I'll see you next video.